last night the disciples had supper with Jesus, their last meal together before he was betrayed. After prayer in the garden, he was arrested, tortured and questioned until the next day. That day the mob cried out, crucify him. The sweet rose of Sharon was crushed on the cross. A rich man named Joseph took care of the body, while Mary and loved ones mourned their precious loss. Last night they buried the rose in the garden, the fragrance of sorrow hung thick in the air. Satan was breathing a sigh of relief, while angels were silently bearing their grief. God knew that his son would arise in great power, but for now he was waiting and counting the hours. Mary and Martha spent the third morning gathering spices and watched for sunrise. The disciples were hiding, defeated and grieving, too distraught to remember Christ said he would rise. The soldiers were sleeping outside of the grave, unaware that their prisoner was stirring inside. The dawning of hope had finally arrived. This morning the rose blooms in the garden. The fragrance of victory still fills the air. Last night there was weeping with no consolation. But this morning, rejoicing in the God of salvation. Today there is hope in the morning light. What a difference God made between now and last night. No matter how hopeless and final the night, it has to give way to the sun of your light. The sun of your light. This morning the rose blooms in the garden. The fragrance of victory still fills the air. Last night there was weeping with no consolation, but this morning rejoicing in the God of salvation. Today there is hope in the morning light, the morning light. What a difference God made between now.